This is iMac. Gotta see this thing in person, but I'll do the best I can with video. This is iMac. The whole thing is translucent. You can see into it. It's so cool. We've got <laughs> stereo speakers on the front. We've got infrared right up here. We've got the CD-ROM drive right in the middle. We've got dual stereo headphone jacks. We've got the coolest mouse on the planet right here. <clears throat> Come on around. All of the connectors are inside one beautiful little door here, the Ethernet, the USB stuff. Around the back. We've got a really great handle here. The back of this thing looks better than the front of the other guys, by the way. <laughs> and then we're on the side. So let's take one more, one more swing around it so you can see. This is what it looks like. And again, you've got to see one of these things in person. Hmm. Two roads diverged on the way to the internet. And I, I took the faster, simpler, less expensive and far more colorful one and that made all the difference It is my privilege to now present to you the new iMac. This thing is a marvel. The whole computer is in this tiny little base and the screen is incredibly flat. Take a look at the screen and I can move the screen with just a touch. Isn't that incredible? And notice that the display stays parallel, but I can change its angle, of course, as well. So I can move this with just a touch anywhere I want. And it swivels 180 degrees <laughs> as well. Amazing. And the screen literally floats in midair. Wait till you meet the new iMac. What would the creators of the iPod do for their next computer? Well, I'd like to be the first to show you the all new iMac. And that's what the new iMac looks like. I think a lot of people are gonna be asking where did the computer go? <laughs> it's around here somewhere and I just can't find it. It's an amazing design. Just like the previous iMac, you can set your display anywhere you want, just as you want it to be. But it's all together in one simple package. All the I.O. along the right-hand side together. Everybody, everybody, let's get into it. Get stoked, get started, get started. We're going to put an Intel processor 
inside a new iMac. How do we make something this good even better? Well, we're going to offer it in the same sizes, 17 and 20 inch, because our customers love these things. We're going to offer it in the same award-winning design, which has caused people to say, well, where did the computer go? We're going to offer it with the same features, the same built-in eyesight camera, front row, the Apple remote, and all the other great features. And we're going to offer it for the same prices. So what's different? Well, what's different is that the new iMac Intel processor is two to three times faster than the iMac G5. This is the Apple iMac Core 2 Duo, and it's pretty easy to see why this desktop is our holiday gift pick of 2006. Just check out the screen, 24 inches. You're not going to find a better system for under $2,000 when you combine ease of use, simplicity, and great design. On the back side, you'll find every port you can think of, meaning you can hook up any kind of peripheral to your new iMac. The cool thing is, Apple has also added a FireWire 800 port. These are even faster than the original FireWire connections, and that means you can hook up a super fast external hard drive. What would an iMac look like if we upgraded it and made it out of aluminum and glass? Well, it looks like this. This is the new iMac design and it's just stunning. We've managed to make it even thinner than before. So this is the new iMac and this is the one it's replacing. Look at that. It's just gorgeous. And uh, that's the back. You can see we've put a full complement of I.O. built right into the new iMac. Horizontally across the bottom, audio in and out, both analog and digital. USB 2.0, uh, FireWire 400, and for the first time on an iMac, FireWire 800. Uh, gigabit Ethernet and, of course, video out. Now, you can add memory with just one screw on the new iMac. As a matter of fact, it's the only visible screw on the exterior of the product. Just pop it out to add memory. I happen to have uh, new iMacs here. And uh, so I'm going to use those to demo uh, iPhoto 08. There's a new brushed aluminum chassis with silver and black finish. There's also a glass plate on top of the LCD, which gives it a glossy, sturdy covering. For the most part, though, the design of the iMac is pretty much the same as the older ones. You got the iSight camera on top. Up here, there's a little mic. It's a little bit smaller than the old one. And after running the system through our benchmark tests, we found that Apple did a really good job of putting a fast PC together. It compared very well against similar Windows desktops, at least in general applications. But as usual with Apple, it's not quite the gaming system we'd like it to be. This new iMac really is an evolution of a product that was so right in so many ways when we first released it. The entire front of the new iMac is just dominated by this incredible new 16 by 9 display. We've actually figured out a way of taking the glass right to the very perimeter. It's just display and then no display. That's it. I mean, <laughs> you are just completely consumed by, by that image. There's not a detail there that doesn't need to be there. <laughs> There are no visual interruptions, distractions, there's just no other noise. Everything is about the display and therefore everything is about your content. With this iMac, we took everything so much further. The displays are bigger, the pixel count is higher, it comes standard with a wireless keyboard and new multi-touch mouse, it features faster graphics, faster processor, more RAM and more storage. This is truly our best iMac ever. So this is the brand new iMac. It is absolutely incredible, the most beautiful Mac we have ever made. If you want to get a look at how thin it is, let me turn it just a little bit. Look at that edge. 
just remarkable how thin that design is. There's an entire computer in here. It's hard to believe there's even just a display in here. <laughs> that edge is five millimeters thin. That is 80% thinner than the previous generation. And it extends the entire length. All the way down to this area at the bottom, we, we lovingly call this the chin. Now, the, this enclosure is made of two parts, that chin and that entire big aluminum back. And they're put together previously with some advanced laser welding. But this is so thin, we wanted to do something even more incredible. The engineering team used a technology, you may not have heard of it, called friction stir welding. This is unbelievable. The actual molecules of the aluminum emerge together between the two components to make one piece. And now we're really proud to introduce the first iMac with a Retina 5K display. With 14.7 million pixels, this goes way beyond HD. It gives the ultimate all-in-one computer the ultimate display. And it means you see incredible detail on a scale that just hasn't been done before on a desktop. IMAX's new form is stunning, with a spectrum of vibrant colors, so you can choose the one that fits your own personal style. We wanted it to feel light and optimistic, while instantly brightening up any space. From the front, iMac is clean and simple, with a single sheet of glass covering the entire surface. The softer colors and light gray borders ground the iMac in your environment and allow you to focus on your content. In contrast to the more neutral front, the back is designed to really celebrate color with bold, richly saturated shades. In many places, the back of iMac is the first thing you'll see. So we created colors that would bring a sense of joy to any space. iMac has always been about its best-in-class display. So on the new iMac, we made the display an expansive 24 inches. By narrowing the borders, we fit the significantly bigger display in a design that's only slightly larger than the 21 and a half inch iMac. And it has nearly 11.3 million pixels in its four and a half K retina display. So you can see your content in all its glorious detail. iMac now has a 1080p FaceTime HD camera, which doubles the resolution for much higher quality video. And with a larger sensor, the camera performs great in low light. iMac has state of the art connectivity for all your data and devices. It has up to four USB-C ports including two Thunderbolt ports for super fast data transfer and support for up to a 6K display, like the Pro Display XDR. And we created a new power connector that attaches magnetically, so it's quick and easy to connect. It has a two meter color match woven cable that leads to a small power adapter, which can be placed on the floor behind your desk. And for ethernet, check out this cool innovation. It connects to the adapter and runs through the power cable to keep your desktop less cluttered. Now, let's take a closer look at iMac's new keyboard, mouse, and trackpad options. You can choose from three types of keyboards with gorgeous aluminum enclosures, color matched to iMac. First, there's a magic keyboard with new emoji, spotlight, dictation, and do not disturb keys. And a lock key to instantly lock iMac. Next, there's a magic keyboard with an exciting new feature. Touch ID, which comes to the Mac desktop for the first time. Wireless fingerprint data transmission is made possible by a secure processor in the keyboard. It communicates directly with the secure enclave and M1, creating an encrypted channel to protect your fingerprint data from end to end. So whether you're making a purchase with Apple Pay or unlocking your iMac, it's fast, easy, and secure. And Touch ID also works with fast user switching, so you can change to a different user profile with just the touch of a finger. And there's a Magic Keyboard with Touch ID and a numeric keypad too. Magic Mouse, loved by iMac users, now features color-matched aluminum. And Magic Trackpad, still by far the industry's best, has a refined shape to match the new keyboard. These new accessories complete the system and bring even more capability to iMac. <laughs>